G'day guys, Rob from TAT. Today we have got an intermittent fault on a Ford Focus, so stick with us and I'll show you what we found. So this Ford came into us with an intermittent fault of basically losing communication, network communication. And if you saw in our last video, um, the last video I did where I showed you the math channel on the little U-scope, the one channel scope, I'll show you how we use that to our advantage on this vehicle. So as you can see here, this is basically the fault where the uh, it may not start or it may stall and the uh, engine malfunction light will come on and we lose everything on the cluster. As you can see here, obviously we lost communication with the high speed network modules. So we knew there was a communication error going on. So we got our um, one channel scope on the system. And as you can see, we plotted around and we uh, narrowed it down to the instrument cluster. And as you can see here, giving it a, a good tap. Obviously we had the opportune time because it was very difficult to get this to fail and for long enough to actually test anything. But as you can see here, we gave it a bit of a tap on the top there and it, and it came back to life. And obviously we sent it out for repairs and you know, a known issue is these, uh, the main connector itself onto the back of the cluster. The uh, joints get all poor and, and get a poor connection, but there are other things going on with the cluster. So there you go guys, it's obviously, you know, might be a little bit of common knowledge to some people in the trade already, but for those of you that it isn't, then it's a good place to start when you get a vehicle in presenting these symptoms, um, this particular Ford Focus with these uh, cluster issues or the, the dash lights lighting up. So hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.